clear for us uh, when we heard about uh, that we have quite some experience in the technology uh, with the mRNA technology for quite some time. It pays off to make bold decisions and uh, to um, uh, trust uh, that uh, if you have an extraordinary team, you will be able to solve uh, any problem and obstacle which comes your way um, in real time. Um, an important decision which was taken very early on. The process of getting uh, a medicine or a vaccine approved, uh, approved is, uh, is one where uh, many questions are asked, uh, um, many experts are involved and there is external peer review of all the data and a scientific discourse. There is a very rigid process in place and the, uh, the process does not stop after a vaccine has been approved, it continues. And it is in fact a continuing now all around the world where uh, um, regulators uh, um, uh, have uh, used reporting systems to um, uh, screen and to assess uh, any uh, observations made with our or other vaccines and assess them to, uh, to take actions. Uh, that's very difficult to predict uh, in uh, innovative development, uh, but we expect that with, within uh, only a couple of years, we will also have our vaccine, uh, vaccines in cancer at a place where we can offer them to people. At a place where we can offer them to people. Now, uh... Um, it's indeed an honor, and uh, we both, my husband and I, are, uh, are touched, uh, uh, and um, it's, it's, it's a pleasure uh, to get this acknowledgement. Uh, we, uh, however, see us on um, behalf uh, of um, all those who were mobilized and who contributed to this effort. It's very clear it's a, um, a, a challenge, a grand challenge, uh, of a gigantic dimension and uh, this can never be handled by a single individual. In the case, uh, I would just ask the person to follow their effort. It's very clear it's a, um, a, a challenge, a grand